What's up, people? Welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So, you're going to notice something a little different now. The last episode, we lost our Jaeger mech. However, I have determined that we, because the new Rogue Tech is out, we are now in the new version of Rogue Tech with Funky Steve's Medinas. So, I couldn't bring my old Lance forward. Unfortunately, the old version is not compatible with the new version. But because we lost our Jaeger Max, setting our whole lance and everything back, I decided to restart again. We're in the Tortuga Dominions, um, and we're going to go to the mech bay real quick, just so you can get an idea of what we've got here. Now, we started off with five mechs. There was a Jenner. I sold that. I'm going to go into storage real quick so you can just see that I don't have any other mech or mech parts back here. So I sold the Jenner off because we needed some money to be able to, to get through the first couple months. Uh, what I had to do was basically refit some of my guys here. So we've got a Crab. Uh, it's the newer version of the crab with the light EC5s on it and bonus medium lasers and MMLs. We've got the Jager mech, which we had two clan Gauss rifles on, the minus one accuracy ones, which we started off with on our old one. It's exactly the same mech. So I bought a couple of AC5s from the store and tried to get this guy to a position where it's roughly the same as the old one. It's not quite. We've only got a medium laser double plus and a couple of flamers in here. So it's not really that much... Uh, better. Um, it's actually not better. It's kind of worse. So we don't really have that going for us. The hunchback we have here, 50 ton hunchback, is the SRM back. So we've got uh, two SRM sixes um, and a bunch of medium lasers. Then we have a Centurion here with uh, AC20 uh, double plus, medium laser plus, and an LRM5 double plus. So that's all we've got. So not a whole lot, unfortunately. Uh, missing all of our stuff here. So I did reconfigure these guys slightly. It's been almost two months since we started. Uh, as you can see up here, you, you normally start off with uh, 5,000 days remaining for this version. So I'm going to be calling this um, uh, Rogue Point. Um, it's kind of a cl uh, cross between uh, Rogue Tech and Flashpoint. So we're going to call this Rogue Point. So in Rogue Point, you get uh, 5,000 days to start with, so we're down, you know, 49 days already. Not a big deal. I don't, I'm not really going to be worried about counting days or getting any kind of score. I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. I'm just out here to have fun. Uh, so we've got the ship. Let's start at the top here, or at the in the sort of middle here. If we're going to go to ship upgrade. So we've kind of got our ship back to where we had it. Power systems up and running, one level of structure. Our second mech bay and our automation is up and running, so we have two me uh, mech repair bays running at 100%. Training modules up and running, so that's that. The mech bays we've already seen. Um, however, I will show you in the mechs. It's kind of cool now. If you go to the Jager, actually, let's go to the let's go to the Jager mech. Sorry, Jager. Where do we put the? Uh, I think it's still here. Oh, let's go with the crab because it's got more in it. So they've changed the layout slightly. You'll notice here there's more stuff in the center. So we've got a um, cooling slot. Like it just basically tells you what your cooling is, whether you've got heat double or single heat sinks. And if you have double heat sinks, so rather than having to put it right on the engine, you put it in here in the cooling now. So you don't have to pull the engine out and then put it back in again to, with a double heat sink kit to be able to get a double heat sink kit run, running. All you have to do is just drag it into here. And I think, yeah, we've got a double heat sink kit in one of our mechs. I think I pulled it out of this one. I can't remember what I, maybe I don't, I don't know, I can't remember. Um, it's been a couple of days since I set this up, get, getting it ready to go. So we do have a few things here. Now this is just stuff that's been pulled off our old mechs. So the Pirate Flamers were on, um, the Pirate Flamers were on the Jager mech. And those have been pulled off. Uh, Flamer Double Plus we, we purchased. Uh, large Laser was on our Jenner when we started with it and we got rid of that. The four rocket launchers were on the Centurion. I pulled those off and bought that uh, SRM double plus. Uh, the ammo Goss was off of the um, the Jager mech, and we've sold the Goss rifles already. So we don't really have a lot to start with. A couple of heat sinks and a lower arm, so not a lot. Um, and that's kind of where we're at right now, mech-wise. Now, in the barracks here, I haven't been able to find the same kind of stats on the pilots. Uh, so if we go to Hiring Hall, so you can see we've got four guys here. We've got Savage Steve, and then we've got four of the starting people that sort of had the lowest um, cost at the, at, that I could get anyway. Um, so if we go to um, 
the hiring hall here, you can see what I mean. They don't have the same kind of um, I'm receiving you. where do we yes. find somebody what here. Can I do for you? Yeah. Yes, Commander. Anyway, there's nobody here that has it. But anyway, I'm looking for mechs that were about 13,500, and there really wasn't here, anybody yeah. that was the I'm low um, number. And I've been to, this is like the second planet I've been to. I started off at Tortuga, couldn't find anybody. Uh, I moved over one planet, couldn't find any, moved back, couldn't find any. So we're probably, after the first mission, we're probably going to have to just like bite the bullet and get really like low end fresh mech warriors. Uh, which will set us back for a few episodes, but I'm thinking that's what we have to do. It's nice to kind of get um, pilots as they just kind of start off. So that's kind of my goal. So we're going to go to the command center now. Um, not much is really different than like the, any, so far that, that I can tell in the original Rogue Tech. For some reason here, I've started off with Steiner really liking me. I'm not sure if that's just an error or what that is. Um, but they seem to... Uh, be liking me so they're giving me priority missions which I'm not going to take we're going to take this uh, repossession actually we're going to take incomplete intelligence I don't want to do repossession because those are going to be heavy vehicles and I'm not sure how well my lance is going to perform so we're going to do incomplete intelligence which is a base, uh, destroy base mission and we're going to negotiate this out going to go full salvage because we have nothing we've got enough for the end of the month uh, which is coming up and, but we don't have any equipment at all so we really want to go with that and plus we want to get the uh, our alliance with the Tortuga Dominions up. So we're going to accept this. And we're going to lay out our mechs here. So we're going to go this route, I think. Um, yeah, we don't really have a scout mech or anything. We're all, well, this guy's heavy, but the rest of them are all medium. So there's no real scout mech or anything like that. So let's, let's lay our pilots in. I uh, don't think it really matters to put you in the crab. And yes, and then yes. So let's go this route. All right, here we go. Four mechs down. There's the base we got to blow up. And we're on a jungle map, which is awesome. Nice. Okay, so it looks like they've changed the initiative values, and it's based on um, not sure what. So this tells us what where we what turn we go on. Um, I think it's based on a, a variety of stats and stuff, So and the size of your mech, like the weight of your mech and things like that. So... Initiative is completely different, which is kind of cool. I really like that idea. Um, and what else is new? Um, there's a, f yeah, I don't know. There's a few other things, but we'll find out as we go along. Uh, looks like they've got some mechs down in here. So we're going to run ourselves up into the highlands here. Well, I think it's probably going to have turrets here. So let's not do that. Let's maybe make our way this way I think so Varangian um, there's no option to reserve here which is interesting On my way. so we'll see how that goes hey chief I'm picking up an unknown hostile it's getting really sluggish too not sure why that is I don't really have any other programs open so I'm expecting there might be a little like a few bugs and stuff in here so we're just gonna have to see um, how that's gonna kinda work its way out I apologize for the slowness of the animations and stuff um, but like I said this is the first time I've played um, Rogue Point so we'll have to see what kind of transpires it'll be kind of uh, exp experiencing with me normally I don't install it install um, the Rotex right away. I kind of go with the kind of version before just because I find it's a little more stable. Um, so my um, Rotex series Cold Forge is still going to be running on the old version. Um, I'm just updating this one because we lost the Jager Mac and um, it just seemed like the right uh, series to Confirmed. to change to the new version. So we don't have eyes on that guy yet. I kind of like this new initiative system. Uh, we're not going to get eyes on anybody here. And that's fine. We're just going to move up. Full throttle. Warning. 
Yeah, missiles from the back turret over here, I think. Okay, it's interesting too. We have a lot less evasion here too. I've only got one Chevron and I move. Oh, all right, never mind. <laughs> I forgot they sensor locked me. Okay, we do have the ability to reserve here. That's interesting. I guess we didn't get it because we were just moving in for the first time. Oh, I see. It steps back one. I'm wondering if this um, animation slowed down is because we're on a jungle map. Damn it. Sorry, I'm, I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm kind of just watching how cool everything looks right now. Um, how different it all is. So let's get... Uh, got an AC-10 LRM-5, eh? 63% chance still here. Uh, let's see if I can get behind this guy. Yeah, it's 56%, but I'll I'll take the loss in a, as a little bit here. Okay, it's just the animations, the moving animations that seem to be causing the problem. So let's leave the LRM5 off. We'll fire the rest right into this guy's back. We got to try and get rid of this guy. Nice. I wonder how Vigilance is going to work now, too. Like, normally you went up one initiative phase. I'm wondering if that's going to change now. Don't knock me down, please. Damn. Still going to be a knockdown. Yep. So a knockdown causes what? Minus six initiative. Okay. Now the Hunchback is all short range. Yeah, it's weird the animations are causing this issue. I don't know, it could be the map too. I've had weird sound issues on some of the jungle maps, like, and we're getting it on this one too. Oh my god, two head hits already? I await your command. My god. Moving to position. This is far more dangerous than I thought it was gonna be. Let's get rid of this guy completely. Goodbye. Neck destroyed. Wow. Uh, yeah. We're gonna definitely be back here only for fire support, so we're just gonna hide back, I mean, go back here for now. <laughs> Pain, minus four initiative. Okay, that's kind of interesting too. Uh, let's reserve. Locust M? Is that what that is? 3V. Two mediums and two machine guns. No armor. Let's reserve. The landing distance is wider too here. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Um... 56 and 30. Uh, I think we're going to reserve again. Kind of got to get a handle on the, how these numbers are working here. Ready for orders. I'm assuming it just goes to the next person with the next highest initiative. Um... That's my assumption, anyway. Much better chance to hit from here. Let's move the hunchback in. So that's without speeding it up. It's really chunky and slow. 
but yet here we're fine. It's just the animation, so let's fire everything on this guy. Okay, there's a knockdown. So I guess next episode, once we're off the ju the jungle map, we'll have a lot better idea of um, what the animation's going to be like going forward. This is, I mean, it's. Just the movement moving up is kind of painful, but the rest of it's still fine. Let's fire everything on this guy. Let's try and get rid of him. I'm gonna go CT on him. That should do it. Oh, almost. Yeah, he bailed. Don't blame you. Get the far gotta dodge, dude. Uh, Saber Wolf. You can't get direct sight unless we sprint. I want to see what this mech is though. Probably. What's this guy? A crab, eh? Two larges, a medium. Uh, let's not get in close. Let's just move back here for now. Let's just take a pot shot. Okay. As long as Steve's not being targeted, we're okay. We're just going to move back here and get our stability back. We're gonna brace. We're not really severely damaged, we're just like head hit. Brangian. Uh we wanna take advantage on this crab. We need to move a half decent amount though. Mm, let's reserve. It's weird because you can't see when each of these guys is going to be moving at. Like before you'd have the initiative up here and you'd know when everyone's going to be moving. Like when the turrets were going to be firing. I'm assuming that's what these are here. Right? I guess the better your sensors are, the more chance you have of finding out what their uh, movement is. So, yeah, you can do this. So we got a Centurion A, heavy rifle, rocket launchers, machine guns. Thinking probably the crab has got what 718 armor, 509. This is the old version of this guy. So let's fire on this guy since he hasn't gone yet. Is that a melee attack, really? I guess this is his best chance to hit, so he might as well. That's the mining drill. I have no idea if that hit. I couldn't see any numbers. Standing by. Okay, let's get up where we can give somebody a good shot here. Uh, I want to get in this on the uh, Centurion again. And we're going to unload everything on him. Wow, that was pathetic. Varangian, I think he's going to go first next turn, so let's get in here. And we'll shoot on the side of this guy. And fire everything. Okay, some nice damage there. Wow, we got the gyro. Ammo explosion, that's why. They got a sensor lock on me. Yeah. Gonna start moving Steve forward a bit. comes the missiles. Wow. Okay, Rangian, let's see if we can clean this guy up now. Onward. Let's give this guy a nice pasting from the side. Um Plus five penalty, reduced by one. I want to see how much this reduces his initiative. 
It says it's reduced by one, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's just target his head. Oh, it's only one point. Wow, that's nothing. There's almost no reason to use it now. It's okay, he decided to turn us back to us anyway, so. Taking some heavy damage. Um, step, let's get Steppenwolf up here. Um, let's move in here. And we're just going to target this guy. Wow. Thanks for coming out, buddy. They got a sensor lock on me. No more head hits, man. Attack from the same side. Let's hope we get a lot of hits here. Ah, uh, looks like we will. Okay, nice head hit. See if we can take a torso and knock him down. Light damage, Commander. Yeah, but he's still peppering you. Alright, uh, Steve, can we actually get to a point where we can shoot this guy? We can. Taking a chance by doing this, but we're going to give it a shot. And we're going to shoot on the side of this guy. Okay, there's the torso. It's not a knockdown, unfortunately. Uh, he's got minus 15 initiative, so he's going last. Let's get... What's the damage on this guy? Okay, so let's get Varangian right. on... Uh, can we get onto the other side and attack him? We can. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Let's see if that knocks him down. Nope. Of course not. Because why would it? Uh, can't get over there. Got to move a little bit. Yeah, the controls are getting all wonky here. Let's fire on this guy. It's going to be interesting to see what the recording's like. Let's just use the SRM-6 and just fire. Knock down. There we go. So he's going to be unconscious. So it looks like we're going to get some crab parts. Awesome. Okay, cool. Okay. Showing minor damage. All right, step, step and wolf. Let's get up here and shoot on this turret. See what kind of initiative we're looking at for these guys. Nine. Okay. So we're gonna fire in the turret. 180. 180 health. So I'm not sure if it's just this particular map, but it looking looking like a lot like these turrets are a lot more dangerous than they used to be. Which is kind of nice. It actually makes them a threat. Makes you have to think about them more often now. Yikes. Well, you know, he had no evasion, so it's not much he could do there. Ready for orders. Uh, we all go before them, right? So let's get down here. Location get some fun. stability back. Unload on this guy. Fire. Okay, that's that turret gone. So we're going to make our way down this valley here. That turret is gone. I don't know what the miss... Where they're going to be able to shoot us from, but we're going to sprint it down here. If we can get in the woods, we're going to be doing that. Ready for orders. Let's get around this way. So sensor lock, I think, lasts for a couple of turns, so they're still going to be able to shoot us. Got to get in there fast. So... I'm going to work Steve around this way so I can shoot this tower once we get a sight, line of sight on him. Ok, 
Okay. Standing by. Let's get line of sight on that turret. Location confirmed. Get some stability back. We're gonna fire on this guy. 70, 120, and enough to kill. Nice. That turret is gone. Okay, perfect. I put the battle down. And let's not waste any turns. We're just gonna shoot on the building. Wow, you actually missed the building with the AC. Don't worry, Darius, we will. Can we see anything? Nope. Let's just get in close. On it. Okay, so the Agamax horribly out of position. Let's just move up here. We gotta shoot buildings anyway, so we might as well just take a couple shots here. Medium. This guy's got what? 150? 150, 150? Yeah, they've all got 150. Let's just start shooting them. Okay, let's get on these guys. Turrets, that is. Primitive. Okay, what's what here? Shredder turret, SRM6s and flamers. LRM10s and machine guns. I'm gonna shoot this because I think it can do more damage to me right away. Should be able to kill it. Looks like it, yep. The LRMs can do damage, but uh, SRM6s do maximum 48. LRM10s do maximum of 40, so it's better to go after the 10s. Or, sorry, better to go after the SRMs. So we're gonna unload... Why is everything turned off here? Oh, right, because we were firing that one guy, yeah. Not quite enough hits, damn. Oh, we got our Centurion coming up here. Good to go. Good to go. On my way. Shoot that turret for me, please. There it is, folks. That's just base cleanup. Nice. So, now that we don't have mechs moving against us, looks like we got a little bit easier time moving our guys around here. Which is interesting. I, maybe it has something to do with calculating initiative. That's it for that one. I think, yeah. Alright guys, let's finish this up, man. Let's finish this up. Shoot this building, because we've already shot it before. That's a miss. That is a miss. I'm receiving you. Yeah, let's get into here. See if you can kill a building on your own. Target this guy. 70. Yeah, maybe. Sure looks that way. Target destroyed. One more to go. Ready for orders. Don't even need to move, just fire at this one. There it is, folks. Nah, you can come get us here. We're tired. We're taking a couple hits hits to the head. Alright, 182,000. Not bad first payout for a first job. 35% increase in salary, which is good. Uh, Jaeger mech took a little bit of damage to the back torso. I don't think nothing, pen nothing penetrated, so we're okay there. Uh, took that shot to the head, though, so we're going to be out for 40 days already. Really? Ugh. Oh. Alright, let's choose some salvage here. I think it's going to be four crab parts, but I want to just check and see if there's anything else down here we can use. Spike Wrecking Ball is kind of cool. Uh, patchwork materials are nice. Spike fist, spike helmet. Uh, we don't really have any melee mechs right now, so don't think any of that stuff's going to be good. Spike wrecking ball is a cool idea, but like I said, we don't really have any melee mechs. Minus four heat sinks per ton, 30 heat per turn. I think I'm going to grab the big fusion core, um, and then we're going to grab three crab parts. I think that's the way we're going to go and see what we get here. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six crab parts already after the first mission. Nice. One, two, three, four locust parts and a spider part. A couple medium lasers, which we need. Nice. That's that's actually pretty good. I think I'm going to swap these two into the um, 
Jagermack to get that up and running. A couple of RL10s we can, we can ditch and the fusion core which we can sell if we need to. Alright, so it looks like the um, uh, planets uh, are being taken over again, which is good because as of the last mission, 54,000 really. Uh, as of the last uh, mission, they were all back to normal. So I'm going to have a quick look at the star map again here just to see if anybody's expanding near, near where we are. Yeah, so there's not really anything going on. Tortuga was down in here a little while ago, but they're not anymore. Um, so, you know, eventually these planets will all be starting to get filled in. It looks like there's a bunch of people playing um, the new version of Rogue Tech, which is awesome. So lots of people that are in here. Um, you can see all the little uh, marks here that says where they are. Oh, there's flashpoints and stuff too, which is cool. So that's interesting to see. So lots of new stuff we can explore and see. Now all the clan homeworlds once again. Oh, they've got a second route to the clan homeworlds. Clan Wolf. What else is here? Jade Falcon? Diamond Shark. Well, who's this? Ghost Bear. Okay, cool. So the clans are rapidly expanding. When I first loaded up, none of these planets were taken. But it looks like a lot of them are being taken by clans. They're coming down into here. Yeah, man. So this is going to be kind of cool. Comstar. Yep, going to be kind of neat. So we're going to have to make our way over there. I'll have to see what the old version of uh, Rogue Tech, what the map looks like now, to see if it's actually the same map as this. It's highly unlikely, but it might be. So we'll find out um, very, fairly soon when I start uh, um, recording a few more episodes of um, Cold Forge. Right now I've got, like, I think three episodes in the banks for the next three days or so, up until, I think, December 21st. Should still be the ones that I've already recorded, which are as of December 16th, I believe, or 17th probably. Um, so there's a few episodes that are going to be running before we'll get a chance to see if the map has changed. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have to um, pick up a pilot here before we end this episode, I think. Uh, we've got some repairs to make, but I want to get a pilot first. So we're going to take the one with the higher gunnery, I think. we we'll take Hellcat. I also like the name too. Kind of reminds me of the U.S. fighters, Hellcat fighters. So I'm going to take that, take her higher, accept, New mech warriors. and let's have a look at the barracks real quick, just to make sure she's got a proper uniform. Pretty sure she does. Yeah, except for the lighting. Lighting needs to be... You. No, I think that's right. I think that's exactly it. Nope. There we go. And that's the right... There we go. Here's the right uniform. Cool. There we go. So we got an extra pilot for the next one because Steve's going to be out for a while. Uh, we're slowly going to replace all of the stock pilots with new ones. Um, we got 11 days. Let's manage our tasks here a bit better. Yeah, not much we can really do about this. It's going to be 16 days to repair. So we'll just have to make do with the best we can. We've got enough for the next financial report plus a bit, so we should still be fine. So when we come back next time, I think probably what we're going to do is have a look at the contracts here. I think we got a, a one skull mission. We do. We can try repossession, I think. Some of these are a little bit high. We have a high tonnage lance right now. But I think in going for higher, like, some of these just might not be, um, we might not be able to pull them off. Just with the tonnage we have and the amount of gear we have. We just don't have the firepower right away. So we'll have to take some of these lower ones and kind of jump around a bit, I think. So, yeah, until next time, if you like the video, drop a like. Um, please, feel me, please, please feel free to make any suggestions or stuff, or if you know something about uh, the newer versions of Rotec that I haven't covered or, or haven't mentioned yet, please let me know so I can at least know what's going on, if there's anything, any other major changes. I've had a look at the uh, um, release notes and stuff, so there's, you know, I kind of know what's going on there, but uh, they've got a lot of new updates that need to be done still to get it to where the old version was but um, those are coming down the pipes so that'll be kind of cool yeah until next time uh we'll see you all later